Now we will do a little bit of uh, PCB reshaping to fit perfectly our 3D model and later we will add also uh, some keep out layers. Okay, so this is this 2D image of the PCB. Now we'll go to, into 3D and here you see that this corner, the rounded corner does not fit perfectly our um, 3D body. So I'll go back to 2D and try to fix it. Maybe we can go to so-called layer stack board view which is achieved by pressing a number one and here I have some design features like edit board shape for example so I can go here and edit this board shape but actually first of all I have to select the small grid small enough and then I can move this uh, snap points this vertices around but it's quite awkward as you see this is not actually an arc this is made of a small um, uh, f f small tracks that go around it and it's not easy to edit. Now going back to the design uh, maybe you can modify board shape by selecting a new shape but actually you can also only do it by uh, drawing straight lines so again it's not very useful. So I'll r rather go to the classical 2D view and we'll draw an arc. I will go to the board outline layer and I will draw arc edge starting let's say here but then of course I would like to snap to these lines here maybe it's, it can be snapped maybe not we'll see okay here the snapping works if it doesn't work you go here to the snap object for snapping and you select track lines now this will also snap to lines then let's go and try again now it snaps to lines as well. I can show you by changing the grid. Maybe I will change it to one millimeter and it still snaps the lines. See, so it's quite useful. Okay. I think this rounded corner is just fine. And uh, then I will edit this arc a little bit. So I will start with the angle of 90 degrees and I will finish with 180 like that. Let me check the diameter. I think it's quite okay. Maybe I will change the width of the line of the this arc to match the rest of eight mils, and um, then I can maybe move it to fit perfectly. Okay, fitting now it fits. Again here, it also fits. So now I can um, copy it. So I will copy it. Control C. I will click here go down, paste, and click again. Okay, then I have to delete the rest of it. So I will just select from left to right, delete the rest of these tracks, move it upwards, like that, changing here as well. Okay, and do the same thing here. Select, select, and um, and move these parts here. Okay, let's say that I modify this uh, board border here. So I can now press tab, select all the layers, sorry, all, all the features on this uh, board outline track again. Okay, I was not working correctly. Undo, I think I moved it a little bit. Yeah, now I select all the features. And now I can go into the Design board shape, defined from selected objects, and now this new board is defined according to this new designed border. In the 3D, now it seems better. And now when I uh, define the board shape, I can now go and uh, define the keep out. As you see in the 3D body, on top layer, we can place everything anywhere we want. But on bottom layer, we could also place components only where this opening is in this uh, case. So I will try to use this track, which I already uh, drawn as a keep out layer, but I wouldn't want to delete that one. So I will make a new one. I will copy it, Control C. I will select this origin here for this copy procedure. And I will now go into the uh, layer called keep out layer and I will paste it, edit, 
paste special and I will use paste on current layer. Paste and then I will go here to this pin to this hole here as a reference point and paste it exactly in the same position. So now I am on this keep out layer. I will click shift S to select only this layer or to, to show only this layer. Now I can select it and I will choose that this keep out layer will work only for bottom layer. And I will exclude wires, tracks and copper. So only SMD and true hole pads will act here. So this is now defining the bottom side. What about the top one? Well, the same. I will select one track on this board layer here and I will just copy paste it. Ctrl C, setting reference point, and then I will use keep out layer and paste it on it. Paste special, paste on current layer, paste. And I will go to the same origin. And now this um, keep out layer is pasted just about the uh, edge of the PCB. Now I will click Shift S to select only this keep out layer uh, and I will try to modify it. So I can select a part of this keep out layer and move it, let's say for half a millimeter down and to the right to increase this area here. I could also draw a new one, but actually it's easier just to move it. So I will use the function edit move move selection by x, y, and I will select half a millimeter to the right and minus half millimeter down. Okay. And the same stands for the top part. Move x, y, half a millimeter right, half a millimeter up. And then I will just extend the rest to the border like that. And the last one would be this one here. Well, I should draw a new one. Place, keep out, layer. Okay, like that. It's not perfect, but it will do. I will undo it and do it again to make it nicer. Place, keep out, track. Like that. Yeah. Now it's okay. Let's say that I uh, edited it uh, correctly so that this is what I wanted. So the last thing I would like to do is maybe to set the keep out and uh, these two holes uh, in general because these two are mounting holes and mounting holes usually are not plated which means that I can go here to the properties and, and select deselect plated. Now these holes are just drilled not plated. Now what else? I should increase the, uh, the, the solder mask. So I will go to solder mask expansion. I will switch from rules to manual. I will um, unlink top and bottom. And on top layer, let me use, a, uh, let's say 1.5 millimeter of solder mask expansion. So why? Because the screwdriver, the screw head here would uh, then have to the, the space, the opening here is important so that the screw head does not damage the solder mask. The solder mask should go away from the screw head. Okay, on both sides. And what else? On the bottom layer, we leave it as it is because on the bottom layer, we don't have a screw head. Maybe we could use a little bit more, maybe, I don't know, um, maybe uh, half a millimeter. Uh, actually, that depends on the plastic part, which is on bottom, but that one does not hurt much because it's softer and you don't uh, rotate it when you're screwing in uh, the, the screw. So here maybe um, on top layer is much more important to move for away from the, uh, from the hole. What else? Well, um, you have to put a keep out layer here as well. So I will go to the keep out layer and actually I can just place the arc on this keep out pressing in the middle, increasing outside. I think this would do. Okay. I did not do it perfectly as you see here. So I'll just correct it manually. 360 degrees would just work fine. And I will just copy paste it to the next hole like this. Maybe I will decrease it a little bit 
maybe the radius I will press Q to change to millimeters the radius would be then um, maybe 2.7 millimeters would be fine depends on the size of the screw head now these two keep out should work only for top layer again so I will select top layer here and by that we have defined the keep out layers and all the rest for uh, the PCB to be now able to um, place the components and um, that's more or less it's what I wanted to show here and we are now ready for the next step.